It's Umsum time! What if everyone had their own mini sun? No big deal. I have my own light bulb. <laughs> oh, Umsum. If everyone had their own mini sun, everything around us may become extremely, extremely bright. Hmm. The temperature around us will suddenly rise. We may start sweating profusely. Huh? Hmm. Even a mini sun will be extremely hot. <gasps> Carrying it will not huh? be an easy task. Hmm. Some people may accidentally set their own house on fire. Huh? <laughs> hmm. Our original sun will not be in demand anymore. <laughs> Some people may start wearing it as a decorative item. Even a mini sun may emit solar flares. This may not end well for us. Hmm. Our original sun may try to destroy all the mini suns. Hmm. Earth may start shining brightly from outer space. <laughs> Aliens may try to steal the mini sun from us. Huh? Mm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> Why do we get sunburn? Cause sun is jealous of my skin. <laughs> no. Huh? Sunburn is a term for red and inflamed skin. It is caused by ultraviolet radiation present in sunlight. Oh. Sunlight consists of three types of ultraviolet radiation, UVA, UVB, and UVC. Oh. Does it contain UVC as well? Oh, just listen. <laughs> huh? Our skin is made up of cells. These cells have DNA. When we are in the hot sun for very long, oh. the UVB radiation enters into our skin cells and starts to damage the DNA. Huh? DNA damage can lead to cancer. Thus, to reduce the risk of cancer, the damaged skin cells kill themselves. This programmed cell death is called apoptosis. Apoptosis activates the immune response. As a result, the blood flow increases to that area to heal the skin. This leads to red and inflamed skin, which we call as sunburn. Hmm. Why shouldn't we look at the sun? We shouldn't look at the sun because the moon will feel jealous. No. It is because the sun not only gives out a tremendous amount of light, but it also emits ultraviolet radiation. This radiation can harm our eyes and even make us blind. Nah, I don't believe you. All right. I'll explain. When we look or stare at the sun for a long time, the emitted ultraviolet radiation burns the outermost layer of our eyes called cornea, causing intense pain and inflammation. This condition is called photokeratitis. In addition to this, the radiation also damages the proteins present in the eye lens, giving us cataract and thus causing blurry vision. Moreover, the ultraviolet radiation even damages the light-sensitive cells in the retina, which help us to see. This condition is called solar retinopathy. Solar retinopathy can lead to temporary or even permanent blindness. Mm. Why are sunsets red? Because sunsets are romantic. Nah. It is basically because of scattering of light in the atmosphere. Our atmosphere is primarily composed of tiny nitrogen and oxygen particles. Now usually, when sunlight comprising of seven colors passes through the atmosphere, it hits the nitrogen and oxygen particles. These particles scatter blue and violet light more as compared to red, orange, and other colored lights. Hence, mostly bluish light enters our eyes, thus making the sky to usually appear blue. Mm. However, during sunset, the sunlight must pass through a greater distance in the Earth's atmosphere, causing it to pass through more particles. As a result, most of the blue and violet light gets scattered before they reach our eyes. Due to this, 
the less scattered light like red or orange reaches our eyes, making the sunset appear red. Hmm. Can animals get a sunburn? Yes. Due to ultraviolet radiation of the sun, animals can also get sunburns. However, to protect themselves from the harmful <laughs> radiation, different animals have different biological defenses. For example, reptiles have scales, birds have feathers, animals like sheep, dogs, and cats have fur or hair, sperm whales have a special protein, fin whales have more melanin, etc. Does anybody have Captain America's shield? Oh, please listen. Some animals even produce certain substances to protect themselves from the harmful radiation. For example, hippopotamuses secrete a fluid made up of red and orange pigments. Some fish, amphibians, reptiles, and birds produce a chemical called gadisol. In addition to this, animals like rhinoceroses, elephants, and pigs take mud baths. It is said that mud acts like a physical barrier between their skin and ultraviolet radiation thus preventing them from getting <laughs> sunburns. Why does sunlight uh -huh. make you sneeze? Because <laughs> sun teases our nose. No. Oh. Wait, I'll explain. Hmm. Sneezing caused by sunlight or bright light is called photic <laughs> sneezing. According to a prevailing <laughs> theory, it happens because of a thick nerve bundle called the trigeminal oh. nerve. The trigeminal nerve detects or senses irritants in our nose and thus triggers sneezing to expel them out. Huh? The trigeminal nerve lies quite close to the optic nerve which sends visual information from our eyes to the brain. Now, in some people, this optic nerve is oh. oversensitive. Hmm. Just like me, right? Oh, just listen. Huh? When bright light suddenly stimulates the optic nerve, the optic nerve mistakenly transmits some signals to the nearby trigeminal nerve. Hmm. Hence, the trigeminal nerve misinterprets this signal as an irritant in the nose and thus triggers <laughs> sneezing. Oh. <laughs> what if the sun disappeared? Oh. We would need a lot of flashlights. Hmm? No. The sun's enormous mass and gravitational power locks the planets in their orbits. If the sun disappeared, the Earth would fly off in a straight line into space. Earth would collapse into darkness only after 8 minutes, as sunlight takes about 8 minutes to reach Earth. Moon would disappear as it doesn't produce light of its own. Plants would die, as no sunlight means no photosynthesis. Within a week, Earth's temperature would drop below 0 degrees Fahrenheit, dropping to negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit within a year making it impossible for us to survive. Ocean surfaces would freeze, however. Water in the interior would stay liquid, due to heat from the Earth's core. Only microorganisms who don't require photosynthesis would survive by converting coarse heat into the energy they need. Hmm. Thus, without the sun, humans wouldn't exist. Hmm. What if sun suddenly became half its size? Then I would play basketball with it. <laughs> oh, um some. Firstly, there would be no need of freezers or air conditioners anymore. Everything on Earth would completely freeze. Secondly, assuming that Earth is still orbiting at the same distance, Earth will find itself out of the habitable zone of the sun, thus slowly but surely wiping out all life on it. Thirdly, oh. stocks of solar energy companies would completely tank as extremely less sunlight will reach Earth's surface. Mm. Fourthly, as there would be extreme scarcity of sunlight, plants in order to perform photosynthesis would probably turn blackish or darkish green in order to absorb as much incident sunlight as possible. Lastly, as sun's gravitational huh? pull would greatly reduce, outer planets of the solar system, namely Uranus and Neptune, may drift away into space. Mm. What if our sun became a black hole? Easy peasy. I will turn the lights back on. Oh, um some. Black holes are formed when stars, which are about 10 times the mass of our sun or higher, use up all their fuel and explode. Eventually, they collapse under the weight of their own gravity and form a black hole. Now, if our sun became a black hole, firstly, 
it would be less than six kilometers across. Mm. Secondly, no guesses here, everything will be pitch dark as there will be no more sunlight. Mm. Thirdly, without sunlight, life as we know it will slowly but surely wither away. Fourthly, planets in the solar system will not get sucked into the black hole though. Huh? Why? Firstly, sun will not contain more matter than it has now. Mm. Secondly, sun's position with respect to the planets will not change. Mm.